Good evening. Today is <clears throat> January the 30th of 2019. Today I want to talk about overgrown children. Um, first I attempted or was intent when my intention was to speak, speak about the children in the school system but then you think a little more and you realize that the whole society is acting like infants because we are not um, waking up to what's being done to us you know so it's like um, the the kids, our kids, are being uh, held, uh, kidnapped from uh, from us, from the family, and then they, uh, with the excuse that they're uh, educating them, you know, they uh, they have them, and uh, they give them whatever they want to give them, and as um, education, it's just like so many people say indoctrination is it's a it's a doctrine of uh, obedience that we've been uh, forced to learn you know it's forced to adjust to so so that we we uh, we never think as free human beings this is um really bad because um we have limited time on earth and they're stealing our time they're wasting our time they're hindering the youth you know because they they they're making them stay in school for such a long time and instead of having them move out of there as soon as possible and it's even um boycotting their own system because uh, like let's say social security could be bankrupted that's what happened in Nicaragua right now uh, they bankrupted the social security and so they had to uh, try to implement new uh, regulations for it that started uh, charging more and cutting benefits and so the people complain and then the, when they re overreacted to the to the people complaining that's when the, the you know the stuff has hit the fan you know so to speak so um <clears throat> and that's a big problem it's like um this like i said i i didn't do good in school but you know like whatever i it experience is more valuable than actually being in the classroom okay you have to study you have to, okay you have to learn uh, read a book or or learn uh, other ways now there's a, a variety of, of ways you can do that you know so like mark passy was just saying recently that this is bad yeah this is bad it could be bad but it, it's still just a tool you know, uh, you could the wielder of the of the tool is the one who, who who makes it good or bad. It's not the tool itself. It's just like a hammer. You could use it to, to uh, build something or to destroy someone's head. You know, so this is the same thing. It's just a phone. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a phone. It's not it's not just a phone. It's a it's a it's a device with many capabilities, and so. If you use it correctly, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot from this device, you know. So that's the same thing, you know. And now in this day and age, we have infinite ways to it's uh, uh, learn. So, but nothing beats actually doing. So it's like I was saying about my the, the license that I have for a private investigator. If uh, I had two years or more of if you have two years or more of experience, they grant you 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 qualify for to apply for the license. 
then you have to pass a test and all that, you know. But yeah. let's say uh, if you go to um, uh, school for uh, you pass the uh, to high school and then go to uh, study uh, criminal justice uh, for one year or, or two years or three years or four or five, only one year quali uh, uh, qualifies to for you to apply to that license. Only one, even even if you went multiple years to school for uh, for a criminal justice, only one year uh, actually uh, helps you to get that license. The other year has to be actual experience. But if you have two years of experience, that's enough. So. Um, and that's how it should be. So, so it, it's, it's hands on. Like I said, you have to uh, actually go and do the stuff so that you can um, have the experience, the experience in doing things. So they keep these kids in a cage. Sorry. And then they they're not gaining experience in life. It's like my. Uh, like my dad and my mom, you know, they they had uh, went through the uh, elementary school and then they had a, a system over there in which they were doing the uh, basic cycle, they used to call it the seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. By then, they already had a technical career, so they could go and join the workforce. Like the here, they're gonna bankrupt the uh, social security, their own system. They're gonna bankrupt because. The people are not just uh, contributing to society, you know, to the to their society, which I know uh, the 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 what we you know um, learn the people who who have been uh, paying attention to what is being said, not by just uh, Mark but by, uh, other people, is that we have to start breaking all these walls and all these chains and all these cages. You know, because it, it's only by destroying that that we can kind of uh, uh, dream of ever being free. You know, so the 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 wanting to control is always keeping us uh, in, in a permanent, uh, in a eternal uh, system of uh, slavery. So. Uh, that's that's. The youth, the, 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 the kids are the future and we're uh, not waking up to, to make make them aware of that, that they, they have to do something else. People have to be uh, kids. If, if your kid uh, um, drops out of school, don't punish them. Just tell them, hey, okay, you dropped out, but you got to do something. Do something, you know? It's like, you know, you have to do something. You know, look for whatever you like, but don't, just don't sit on your ass and play uh, games or watch TV, and, you know. Go and do something with your life. You have a limited amount of time. And you're gonna, gonna, gonna want to have a family, you're gonna want to have a home, you're gonna want to have a lot of things. And if you, it, now is the time. Don't wait because it's, it's the, you, they already, you know, took so, so much of your time. And then, you know, but if you, if you don't, uh, the best investment you can do is in yourself. You have to learn, you know. You learn different things. You know, you don't have to learn just one thing. I, mean, you know, it's a, uh, life is a learning experience. Learning with uh, how to uh, live with other people and learning how to uh, get ahead in life. So, um, I don't know. You know, it's a, it does, it, it's a struggle. It's not easy. We all have to, you know, try to see how we can get out of the hole. So, uh, some people get, you know, um, get out of it faster, you know. So, you have to keep your faith, too, you know. Like, I'm a, I'm a man of faith. I believe in God, and I, and I think he uh, he can, uh, he has helped me before, and then, you know. And I'm going to talk about something else, a spiritual uh, experience that I uh, had you know in the past and uh, 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 all, all through my throughout my life I had you know uh, experiences you know mostly 
good, but I've I've made a few mistakes, you know, that that I regret, and uh, I could talk about all that, but um, the main thing that I wanted to say now is like I could go on and on about how you know the the, the school system is obsolete and it's not working, you know, and then but um people are just gonna say oh just because you dropped out of uh, you know early in, in life you now you think it's so awful no it's because it's the same garbage you know and it's boring the people are, these people are uh, you know they bore you to death so you know yeah they has to change now everybody's made for that garbage so so that's all i wanted to say tonight and i thank you and have a good night. God bless you.